Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video we're talking about Windows 7 versus Windows 10. Uh, this video will not be long. I'm just going to point out a key difference of these operating systems and I will let you know which of them is better and which of them usually right now in 2024 you should go for. So I'm just opening this random article uh, about the differences, pros and cons of both of these systems. So the main difference between both of these operating systems is of course the age. So Windows 7 being out at roughly 2009 is a majorly old system now. It's very outdated and generally no one uses this operating system anymore. A very very small percentage of people still use it. I'd, I'm not really sure for what reason. Uh, you would use the system in 2024, uh, but some very, very small percentage use it. And Windows 10 was released roughly in 2015. So the age gap of these systems is six years. That's a lot. And now talking about the interface. So I'm just going to open uh, a few images for you so that you see. Okay, so here we have on the left Windows 7. And on the right, Windows 10, as you can see, they are vastly different from each other. So actually, Windows 7 holds up very respectably in terms of the general look. So it looks really cool, to be honest, even now. And Windows 10 is Windows 10. I mean, everyone's used to it now, so nothing much to say here. It's a more polished look, uh, different icons, uh, different interface in the file explorer, all of that stuff. I'm not going to uh, get into the detail. So this is what Windows Aero looks like. Looks really cool actually, I didn't... I actually remember using the system myself for many years, so this was a pleasant experience for sure. And this is our Windows 10. Alright, getting back to it. So the key points to point out are going to be of course security and privacy. So being as old as Windows 7, Windows 7 doesn't support and have any new updates feature updates and any other updates in general and of course it's not updated in terms of security so if you're using windows 7 especially with the internet you are leaving yourself vulnerable to hacks and attacks so any for example virus that you download for example accidentally or not accidentally onto your computer windows 7 will have a harder time fighting with that malware and that virus compared to Windows 10 or 11, which have a modern updated Windows Defender, basically antivirus software that will have a better time fighting those viruses. So Windows 7 in terms of security and privacy is going to be a, uh, is going to be having a hit because it's not secure at all. It's very old. It's not updated with security updates. So you shouldn't use it only because of this. All right, now talking about software compatibility. So this website uh, tells us for, for some reason that Windows 7 actually wins in this regard, and I would say no, it doesn't. Yes, Windows 10 has some backwards compatibility in its actual settings, and you can actually select for an application to work in a mode with compatibility with Windows 7, but that doesn't mean that modern applications, well, they're saying it, of course, in here, the mainstream apps like Steam and stuff like that. It doesn't mean that Windows 7 will have a great time running any modern software. So Photoshop, a lot of people use Photoshop, video editing software and stuff like this. This will probably not function properly or will not work at all in Windows 7. So if you're using old software, yes, Windows 7 might be the pick. But if you're using the modern software and, and you're working with a software that's constantly updated, no, Windows 7 is not the, is not going to be a good pick. So hardware requirements are very slight for Windows 7 because it's a lightweight uh, operating system compared to Windows 10. And you can easily use the system with the uh, hard drive, not the SSD, but the actual hard drive, the ones that are older, and you will have no problem whatsoever. But if you use Windows 7 with SSD, it will work even faster. But in general, of course, hardware requirements will be lower for Windows 7 than 10 or 11. It will use less of your computer's resources, less RAM, it's going to have less disk usage, processor usage, everything will be less in Windows 7 because it's a more lightweight 
operating system without much in it compared to Windows 10 in terms of features, for example. All right, so talking about gaming performance, it's uh, generally going to be the same in terms of running the actual game in terms of FPS, like raw FPS, but on Windows 7, major issues will happen in terms of actual compatibility of games. So as you can see, Windows 7 supports DirectX 12, which is a main driver for modern games right now in 2024. And uh, some games, especially modern games, will not run on Windows 7 at all. So if you care about gaming, Windows 7, you should just avoid it. Honestly, there's not much to say here. But if you're going to be playing old games on it, you will have no issues whatsoever. Older games don't work on DirectX 12. They probably use like DirectX 9 or something or below. So yeah, keep that in mind. And also if we go ahead and take a look at the Steam hardware survey, so in here we have a whole bunch of data, processor uh, by manufacturer, systems by DirectX, the video card usage, and also we have OS version. And if you can see, Windows 10 is the most popular operating system in Steam. So Steam is a gaming platform. So gamers are using mostly Windows 10, 64-bit. As you can see, it's at 50%. And Windows 7 is only at 0.41%. So that's a very, very small percentage of people that use it. So in terms of a verdict, uh, I would generally not recommend you using Windows 7 is just pointless. It's old, it's not supported with updates, it's not good for gaming, uh, for productivity it's not good either because it doesn't support the modern uh, software. I generally don't really see the actual reason why would you use Windows 7 now. Windows 10 works perfectly fine, it's fast, snappy, it's got all the features, you don't need to install Windows 11 because it sucks. So Windows 10 has everything, everything you could dream of. If you're not satisfied, just move to Mac OS or something. So, so thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this uh, cleared out some misconceptions and uh, some things you might want to know about Windows 7 and 10. If this helps, leave a comment about which OS you're using and I'll see you in the next one.